What does Booker T. Washington, Thurgood Marshall, Richard Pryor, Sugar Ray Robinson, Nelson Mandela, Elijah Muhammad, Louis Farrakhan, Scottie Pippen, Shaquille O'Neal, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Medgar Evers, Nat King Cole, Reverend Calvin Butts, James Clyburn, Benjamin Crump, Elijah Cummings, Don King, Roland Martin, Michael Jordan, Ricky Smiley, Tom Joyner, Bill Cosby, and Steve Harvey all have in common besides being black men. ritual uh, with these strange individuals coming to our, our home and staying for about two or two and a half hours and I could never go up where they were and I could never hear what they were talking about but I know that they all had little black books and occasionally they would dress up put on a black suit and a white apron and go somewhere when I became of age I uh, filled out a petition gave it to my father he submitted it and I was approved for initiation uh, into the Prince Hall Masonic Lodge in Virginia of Prince Hall Masons adopted the bougie attitude and selected their members based on their class and society, and some with the paper bag test. These lodges, societies, and fraternal groups help solidify the black middle and elite classes that are still identifiable today. The spirit of the separation made it necessary to copy the white university's Greek letter fraternities and sororities and to create their own. Many of the founding members of the early Greek letter fraternities were also Freemasons. And of course, most of those fraternities are still in existence today. They are like recruiting tools for the underground. that it was about education. They would tell us that getting a good education would bring us success in this country. And this is what we were programmed to believe. But success in this country was actually more about the organization we were attached to and who we actually knew. So there was always a big glass ceiling over us unless certain doors were opened by these fraternal organizations. So because of these fraternal organizations, education and economic growth ushered in the visible black bourgeois class. The class of blacks that distinguished themselves from the other blacks because they were wealthy, educated, and connected. The boule. If you take a look at the black community today and you see leadership, you'll see it in many different types of roles. Business leaders, politicians, civil rights leaders, etc. 
but it was not always so. If the white Masons were in power and they had a problem with even recognizing the Prince Hall Masons, then it's obvious that moving into those high roles in American society would take some time. So what did the Prince Hall Masons do because they were still leaders in the community? There was a huge attachment to the black church. And if you ever want to understand how things are so bad in the church today, you should know that from the start, when the foundations of the church in America were being built, it was already contaminated. Many of the black churches across the country were being run by Freemasons. In my research, it is said that it is normal routine for the opening and closing prayers in a Prince Hall Lodge or social function to be ended in the name of Jesus and to include other exclusively Christian phrases during the prayer. It is said that only the Prince Hall Grand Lodge of California practices a craft, that means Masonic, ritual, which actually mentions Jesus. church in America has always been infiltrated by Masons. So there's no coincidence how over time the faith and truth have been lost. The leaders in the black communities have always been religious figures. And from slavery until integration, all the black community had to lean on was the church. And the lodge and these bodies often met in the same facility. This is the real truth about the black American experience. This is why we have seen so many of our leaders come out from the church. The Reverend Al Sharpton, the Reverend Jesse Jackson, the Reverend Calvin Butts, the Reverend Martin Luther King Sr., father of the civil rights leader, Jr., all Prince Hall Freemasons, all of them. The church is and always has been the center of African-American life. A place to call our own in a too often hostile world sanctuary from so many hardships. They have been and continue to be community centers where we organize for jobs and justice, places of scholarship and network. That's what happens in church. That's what the black church means. And then he sang Amazing Grace, drawing everybody in. How sweet the sound. Some of you are Masons. Shriners, studying the secret wisdom of God in your lodges. But your lodge is a little different from the white folks lodge.
BNN.